A lot of the discussion of the Succession opening credits focuses on finding easter eggs or hidden secrets that point to the show's future plot. But I think that framing sells the opening short, because not only has executive producer Adam McKay denied hiding anything in the opening, I think the true genius of the opening is hidden in plain sight. Many have noticed the opening similarities with the opening of David Fincher's The Game, which also features home video footage, a rich family party, and an absent workaholic father. The Succession intro does seem at least partially inspired by this one, and I will say, if you're gonna copy copy a director's opening title sequence, Fincher is definitely the right choice. But Succession's opening does more than just borrow from the game. Succession twists the classic nostalgic montage by showing the core emotional issues underpinning the entire show. The intro doesn't just use old-timey footage, it mixes that footage with modern footage, like when we see the New York skyline during different eras. The mixing of styles and time periods gets more creative in this shot, when we cut from an old-timey camera to not an old-timey scene, but rather a modern news anchor. These cuts are a simple yet classic example of montage. By pairing two similar images from different time periods, the intro creates a feeling of dynasty, of a media corporation that spans across space and time, and it creates an association between the life of the Roy family and the life of their business. Business. But linking up these two worlds also has a more sinister effect. Some online have pointed out the inaccuracy of the old footage in the first place. Technically, since the three younger Roy children were born in the 80s, they should have used videotape footage for their childhood instead of the more antiquated film stock. But I think that choice improves the opening. It has the obvious effect of making the family dynasty feel even older. But film stock also typically adds nostalgia. Movies like Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets use 8mm film stock to show simpler, more familiar times. But Succession bastardizes this trope by using film stock for distinctly unsentimental moments. Unlike the game, whose opening has some bittersweet moments, Succession's home footage just feels cold. The kids do expensive things alone without their other siblings, and many shots show their expansive backyard physically separating the family from each other. These images remain consistent even as the opening changes between seasons. Season 2 adds the videotape look to show the kids as young adults, and in that similarly nostalgic style, characters look unhappy and distant. The opening shows a childhood filled not with fond memories, but with the unfulfilling excesses of Wall Street. The the shots of corporate buildings don't just show the family's power, they also taint the home footage, and we lose that charming nostalgia we normally associate with film stock and videotape. The result is a world with a strange mix of business and pleasure, a world where a dad can hold a business meeting in the same space his children play. One shot cuts seamlessly from a dining table to a business contract, as if those two things are one and the same. This strange dichotomy actually foreshadows the conflict that kicks off the entire show. In the pilot, Kendall leaves work to go to his dad's 80th birthday party, but his dad doesn't see that as a good thing. He sees it as a sign that Kendall's not fit to leave the company. You left the room. The deal. To come to my dad's fucking birthday party. Logan doesn't respect Kendall because Kendall doesn't do what Logan did in the opening credits. Hold a meeting instead of spending time with his family. In a cruel reversal of family life and business life, Logan would have respected Kendall more if he had been a ruthless businessman instead of a family man. And the only way he'll respect you is if you try to destroy him because in your position that is exactly what he would try to do. But the opening does much more than predict specific plot elements. More importantly, it unlocks the deep trauma within the Roy children. The opening is crucial to understanding the Roy kids, especially because it's the only time we actually see them as children. Just like our memories of our own childhood, theirs is a series of snapshots. We see Logan Roy from their subjective point of view. He is almost always faceless and uninvolved, walking away and having his back towards them. He's not a father, he's only a patriarch. And this idea gets confirmed in the show. The opening credits really are their only memories of their dad. They can't think of anything intimate. What's something special that you and your dad enjoy doing together? No. Next question. And their father's obsession with business over family has poisoned his kid's mind to the point that they can't tell the difference between genuine care and a calculated business decision. What is this? What's the angle? No angle. We're worried. But that is their world. Whether or not the family gets along has real-world financial consequences, and the show is full of moments that are both personal and professional. So that idea anchors many of the dramatic moments, not just in the opening credits, but throughout the show. It could also make the show hilarious. I love you and I, I'm glad you're part of my life, but I am taking legal action against you. There's also a meta element to the ideas explored in the opening credits. Pretty much every studio is throwing money at various shows to try to make the next Game of Thrones, some epic fantasy blockbuster with an enormous budget. But with Succession, HBO has ironically created a hit that feels like the polar opposite. The show has few special effects, there are no sudden deaths, and most characters don't change much throughout the show. Succession feels like a Shakespearean play. It's a tale as old as time, a tale of dynasty, power, and family. Succession is a show literally about how a big budget is not 
not enough to satisfy us. What matters most is the tried and true formula of exploring the complicated relationships between interesting characters. And as a guy who also has three siblings, I can confirm that you don't need a billion dollars to have an insane family. It's actually surprisingly affordable. So maybe other studios can learn a lesson from Succession and its opening credits. But until then, I'll be here waiting for season four, listening to that amazing soundtrack over and over again. If you liked taking a closer look at Succession's opening credits, then I have some great videos to recommend. There's an entire series analyzing the opening credits for dozens of different TV shows. Each video is done by a different YouTuber, including some of my favorites like Patrick H. Willems, H. Bomber Guy, and Just Right. I even made one for The Simpsons. You can watch all these videos on Nebula, a streaming service you've probably already heard of that has no ads and exclusive content from educational YouTubers you love, including me. And right now, we've partnered with CuriosityStream to give you the brand new Smart Bundle, a bundle which gives you access to six amazing educational streaming platforms, CuriosityStream, Nebula, SomTV, TasteMade, Topic, and One Day University, all for less than $4 a month when you get a year subscription. That gets you the opening credit series on Nebula, plus tons of other educational educational videos covering hundreds of genres. You can get access to this incredible deal by going to smartbundle.com slash now you see it SB and using the gift code now you see it SB at checkout. This is a great last minute Christmas present for anybody looking to explore their curiosity. Thank you to CuriosityStream for sponsoring this video and a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. I couldn't do this without you. Thanks for watching.